and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone, this is Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for July 17th through to the 23rd. I'm going to be using Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. Uh, the artwork by Lily Moses is absolutely stunning. So let's see what they have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. All right. Beautiful, beautiful card. This card has come up before when I've done these readings. It's the Holy Spirit expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Uh, spirit has your back. So it's a beautiful way to begin the week. Remembering that miracles, meaning expressions of love, are possible everywhere as long as you are open to them and that you really shift your focus from everything being a miracle honestly uh, they're saying here it's really important that we trust that we have faith that everything is unfolding as it should and sometimes the miracles are the things that don't first of all look like one perhaps it's a letting go of the past maybe it's something not turning out that we really really wanted Remembering sometimes that the miracle is in being protected from that. Sometimes the miracle is a change that we didn't think that we would make that turns out to be the greatest thing. So the Holy Spirit is just reminding us of that and just blessing us, this beautiful blessing upon our week. So a beautiful way to, to start this week here. I'm just going to show you this card because it's so beautiful. All right, so that's for Monday and Tuesday. Gorgeous way to start the week. And look, Commander Ashtar, call to action. He's a star being. And it says, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. So what this says to me is that miracles are all kinds of things. You know, they're not just like instantaneous healings or, you know, something out of the blue happening. It can be a way that we live our life and sometimes it's easy to say oh yes I'm going to be as loving as possible but then really forgetting to do that in our daily life and Commander Ashtar is reminding us of that really allowing what is being shared to be what we actually do reminding us that it's all good meditating but, you know, are we actually practicing what we're sharing? Are we actually being who we say we are? Are we being authentic? Are we walking our talk? Um, he's also saying that the miracles that are occurring right now will, will require us to take action. A lot of miracles, you know, don't just happen when we shut our eyes and say, thank you, God. They happen because we're taking steps. So in the middle of the week, He's saying that, you know, we may feel guided to do something in order for, you know, this desire that we have or this change to happen. Um, and we have to be a part of that change. So take action, be courageous, walk forward, let yourself be a shining example. And remember, as Mary Magdalene has said uh, a couple of weeks ago and a couple of weeks before that, we are teachers just by by being an example of that. We are living as teachers, we are living as examples of love, of peace, of authenticity. Sometimes it just means kind of shining more and letting ourselves be seen so that others can then be um, not followers because we, we, we none of us need to be followers but to be we are way showers so that others can actually be inspired to live in their authenticity and in their hearts okay so that middle of the week is saying take action move ahead so that you can actually be open to the changes and the miracles that you're asking for and also inspire others to do the same okay beautiful card and then the end of the week, the weekend, oh, I just love this card too, hope. 
Look how beautiful that is. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. So again, the miracle is love. The miracle is not just loving others and being outwardly giving. It's remembering that it's inside of us. That heart, that lotus flower that you see, it grows within us and then we're able to share more love with others. And if there's a part of you that goes, oh, you know, oh, everyone else is the leader, but I'm not, and who am I to share this, and who am I to have good things happen? She is just reminding us that we are all worthy of that love. We are all worthy of good. Love is already ours because we are love. And if we are asking for something, it's because it's already part of our soul's calling like we said last week we don't just have a random desire we have a desire because it's part of us sharing so please remember that and she's saying that for some of us you know right now the miracle could just be being more at peace with ourselves the miracle could be just remembering that we're enough the miracle could be um, accepting a situation that hasn't been very easy in our lives whatever it is she is there to help us to be open to that remembering really that 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 is the basis for all things our own self-worth our own self-love becomes the cornerstone to which every other miracle and every other love is born okay Sending you so much love. If you would like to uh, work with me and have a one-on-one -on -one private reading, you can absolutely find out more at annagracetaylor.com there. There's also going to be a couple more spaces opening up for me to work with you throughout the 30 days. We have three private sessions. You can be in contact with me via email as we work through opening you up to more love. We work with the angels, with the divine feminine to really create lasting change in your life. So if you're interested in that, actually, you all you need to do is just contact me. There's not details on my website because it's quite a new thing and I still have to um, update that but I'm going to be posting more about it on Facebook you can also um, ask me for more details just by contacting me it's a special uh, sacred space that we open up you can talk with me via Skype or, or phone and we create this um, space for your transformation so yes you can ask for guidance yes we can be in touch but there's also a a container, a, an energy um, vortex, if you like, that is held so that you can really um, make big changes which are based in you recognising who you truly are. So sending you much love and I will speak to you either privately or again next week on this video. Sending you big, big love. Talk to you soon.